Where's the beef? More like, when's the beef? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Promising fresh, never frozen beef, uniquely shaped into squared patties, the ever frozen in time smiling face of Wendy is the best kid anybody could ask for. Mm -hmm. Especially because we know she would never ever put us in a nursing home and forget about us. Oh. And throughout the years, she's seen some questionable menu choices. <coughs> Frescata sandwiches. <laughs> <laughs> But she's also seen some truly iconic winners. Oh, she's seen it all, hasn't she? But do we know when she first saw it? It's time for Stuff and Shuff, Wendy's edition. Welcome to the Stuff and Shuff Zone. Okay, boys, each round you'll guess the origin of a specific menu item from Wendy's by shuffling your pucks to the correct decade on the mythical shuffleboard. The winner will get a very special gift from Wendy's founder, Dave Thomas, and his daughter, The Wendy. What? I know, and Rhett, you'll be shuffling first since you won last time. The ghost of Dave Thomas is here? Yep. Yeah. All right, ready to catch? Yeah. Yeah! Ooh, it's that baked potato. Oh yeah, this Wendy one. made this famous. So this one's got bacon on it. Is that make it different? I don't. No, you're just you're guessing so. the baked potato. We just wanted it to be nice and dressed up for you. I like to get the chili too. Put the chili on there. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry. There's no Man. other fast food place that I get a baked potato at. No, it's like Wendy's made baked potatoes cool again. Hmm. I'm going first. I'm just gonna keep eating a little bit more of this tater. There's so many unknowns here, Link. We first have to guess when Wendy's happened. We know that a man named Dave Thomas founded it, and we know that he was already old when we were kids, and we know that he is now deceased. Dead. <laughs> okay. Hopefully they put a cool baseline in there, like a dead baseline. I don't think they did, man, sorry. How old was Dave Matthews? Matthews. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, there's Dave Matthews. How old was Dave Thomas when he died? I don't know, 80. When did he die? I don't know, 15 years ago. So he didn't do this in the 40s, he founded this in the 50s. Baked potato, not something you start with out of the gate, but once the 70s roll around, you're gonna be adding baked potato to the menu in the 70s? And there's never a time when it can seem motivated. I think this is a crapshoot. It's either the 60s Nobody or the- Nobody else did it. 60s or 70s, I'm gonna try to nestle between the two on the cross where they connect. Oh, stop, stop! Dadgummit, Wendy! Dadgummit, Wendy! Now the thing that I'm concerned about is, my answer is the 80s. I just, hmm. I mean, I always remember them being there and I, rem I remember those 80s. There were taters. So how do I push you what are you gonna try to do? I'm gonna nestle up against you so that I can lay claim to 1980 as well as 1970. Here we go. Do me right, Wendy. Oh, I've gone past you, but I've come back. Ooh. And, hmm. You're still closer to 80s, you're still closer to 70s. So I, I think mission Feeling good about that. Mission Feeling good about that. And do you eat the tater skin? Oh yeah, that's the best part. That's where the fibra is. Uh-huh. Wendy sells more than one million baked potatoes each week. They were first introduced wow. to the Wendy's menu as a healthier option in 1983. You were right, bro. And as y'all already know, this was also the same decade in which the famous Where's the Beef commercial debuted. Let's just watch it for fun. Yes, please. please. I love this commercial. It certainly is a big bun. It's a very big bun. Big fluffy bun. It's a very big fluffy bun. Oops. Where's the beef? There you Some go, girl. Some places give you a lot less beef on a lot of bun. Where's the beef? At Wendy's, <laughs> we serve a hamburger we modestly call a single. And Wendy's single has more beef modestly. than the Whopper or Big Mac. At Wendy's, you get more beef and less bun. Hey, where's the beef? I don't think there's anybody back there. You want something better. You're Wendy's kind of people. The person on the far left was listening to the bun. Did you see that? Yeah, seeing if it would talk. You ready? It's gonna flip. I'm gonna forklift it. It's gonna flip one time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, forklift almost didn't catch it. What, what do here? we have? A special, it says special. This is 
What in the world? It's it's, it's a, a egg sandwich. Is that sausage in the shape of a square, or is that burger? It's sausage. It is sausage. It's a sausage. I didn't know their sausage sandwich. was square. I didn't it's know like, you could do sausage on a regular bun. You're you're guessing like a, a Wendy's breakfast sandwich is the round. Hmm. Man, I didn't. I don't usually do breakfast sandwiches with regular buns. Me neither. That's a bit weird to me. I'm not I loving like it. it. Does that still exist? <laughs> do we have to? Do we have to make that and wrap it up? I didn't even know that was a thing. So breakfast sandwiches at Wendy's. They were late to the breakfast game. They weren't playing in that early morning thing. Now they got in before Taco Bell did, for sure. Uh. But I'm thinking. I think it's 2000s. I think it was pretty late in the game. 2000s? That they, st that they opened up for breakfast. Mm, okay. Yeah. And I think, I thought they did have biscuits for a while, but sandwiches. A lot to think about here. A lot to think about. All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for 2000. I wanna go a little bit in the 90s too. Stop, 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 stop! Oh, gosh! That does not indicate my wishes. How do you feel? I just, I don't know. I don't have a feel for it, you know? <clears throat> I'm apparently not feeling. Um, do you agree with me? I mean. I'm now stuck in 1940, which is a dumb spot to be. I feel like it's not the 80s because we just did that with the baked potato and it's, de it's definitely not before the 80s. I mean, when did McDonald's even do breakfast? I mean, they, they were doing it when we were kids. Because my dad got me one of those, the, the pancakes one time on a, on a road trip. Oh, and you I was remember? surprised. I was like, oh, they got pancakes. Huh, who would have known? Is that the one where you left you in the bathroom for two days? Yeah, I don't like to talk about it, but I did have pancakes. Just, uh, what are you going for? I, I, I can bump you. I can nestle you a little bit further into the 2010s. I'm gonna just kind of make contact with you here. Because what's your answer? The same as mine, 2000? I think 90s probably is the answer. I mean, what's the point of bumping you? It's fun. It's more fun. It is a bump fest, y'all. Looks like it's gonna be a gentle nudge. I like what you've done because now my answer is 2010. I think it could have been that recent. The entire breakfast menu at Wendy's debuted pretty dang recently in 2020. Yes! Uh, let's take a, take I knew, a look I, at a, I didn't know it was that reason. You're kidding. Yeah, no, I'm not kidding. I don't do that in this game. Let's take a look at the commercial. Wendy's $3 breakfast deal is a bacon or sausage croissant plus seasoned potatoes for just three bucks. It's the kind of breakfast that really sticks with you, especially if you're Tyler. What's uh, the deal with Tyler? He's a chef. Chef Tyler? He smells the bacon. Tyler. Yeah. Uh, her breakfast. Oh. I didn't, if you want I don't get this. You'll never forget. Wendy's is I don't know who Tyler is. Choose Wendy's I breakfast. do now. Like, why are they trying to bring Tyler into Wendy's world? That's like know. his, that's like their thing apparently, I guess. I just learned this right now. And I also just learned Chase went to school with that guy. <laughs> his <laughs> name is not actually Tyler. No! What's his name, Chase? Bill. Bill, oh yeah, well, I'm glad they didn't go with Bill. Yeah, yeah that ain't gonna work. <laughs> Where's the beef? Oh, that oh, was very gentle. Not here, this is just frosty. Just Classic. Frosty. I mean, it, this is an undeniable win for Wendy's. The big W. What puts the win in Wendy's? The frosty. Oh. Ain't nobody do, do it like a frosty. It's always been good. It always will be good. And the, and the, um, the name for it is so great. I mean, what else could they call it? I don't know, the, Blizzard, McFlurry. The Frost B. But it's different, you know? It's like, <clears throat> it's so specific. I love the taste of it. Hey, Link, let me let me just point out, I mean, you're really on a roll here. Two in a row, how's it, I mean, how does it feel? Like, I mean, you, you you have a queen sweep available to you right now. I, I'm trying not to listen to your, your, your taunting because Wait, I feel like- I would have that, to win the next three rounds in a row to beat you. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be confident. If you win one round- I'm still round, trying hard. If you win one of the next three rounds, you win. This is pre-80s. This could be 50s or 60s. I think that their Frosty machine, I think it was 1961. Wow, that is a very specific number. Love a good Frosty. 
Come on. That almost got there. I didn't quite have enough oomph on it, but. <clears throat> My guess is that. 1960. The Frosty was there from the beginning because when these places opened up back in those early days of fast food, they would usually do burgers and shakes. Burgers, uh -huh. fries, and shakes. But McDonald's got it all started from a franchise standpoint. I don't know if Dave Thomas was old enough to found something in the 50s. I mean, maybe he was. I feel like 60s is a great guess. But here's the thing. I have the ability to bounce you, do a, a reverse bounce, which you're so fond of doing. Uh-oh. But isn't there a rule about how far I can bounce you? What is the rule about how far I can bounce you? You can't bounce me. You can't reverse. This is the whole thing we went over, man. Listen, you but can, you're the one who can't. You're the one who was so particular about this rule. So do you remember it? You can't do a reverse bump that takes me all the way out of contention. I can't do a reverse bump that uh, takes you past the top of the pyramid. Are we gonna have to consult this? We're scroll? gonna have to consult Dad, the scroll. It. We hate doing this, but we gotta do it. Oh, scroll, oh, shuffle rules. Please refresh our memory. I think it's pretty far down here. We like to make some rules. Okay. And then we get mad when we have to refer to them. A reverse bump clear out. Did we not put this? Yes, we did. Did we not have a rule about this? Yes, we do. Oh, 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 there's little, there's all, oh, there's more rules. Yeah, it's down there. Oh, I need a magnifying, do we have a magnifying glass? No. Here? Yes, we do. <laughs> Okay. okay, henceforth, bumps of the reverse nature. Here we are. <laughs> are strictly forbidden, except, of course, if Sir Link decides he desires a bump of reverse nature. In such a case, bumps are again legal, but Sir Link may not push his opponent outside of the boundaries of the sacred pyramid. So I can't institute a bump? You can't. Uh, this is making fun of me, and I don't like it. <laughs> This is misconstruing what I was, read the other one underneath it. It says, uh, each opponent must bite thine item. <laughs> so you have to eat the really? item. Really? You have to eat the item. You can, I we think added well, that we have that to was bite. Probably, that was probably a Sir Link instituted rule because Sir Link probably decided he didn't want to eat something. And then I said, I think you got to eat it. And then we added it to the scroll. You can reverse bump, but it can't be a clear out. It has to stay within the realm of the pyramid. Which I don't know if that's gonna help me very much because that would put you at 1950. But what happens if I do a reverse clear out and you do go beyond? You have to put it back in a place in play. Shoot, man. I think 1960. Because what was happening was is you were reverse bumping me all the way out. And then it was just like, not, I think 19, not even fun anymore. 1960 feels like the right answer. The only other acceptable answer would be 1970 if Dave waited a really late. So I kind of need to push you into the 80s, but this is tricky. This is a tricky, tricky bump. This is not a reverse bump. This is a classic bump. So you were deflecting me into the 80s and you into the 60s? That's the plan. Ooh. Okay, so I didn't really do I anything. I'm closer to my answer, which is the 60s and the 50s, but if I it's don't 70s. Love it. I don't love it. I wanted you to be further away from the 70s. Dang. Today, the Frosty is one of Wendy's most popular menu items with over 300 million sold annually worldwide. They're good. But when it was first released, the Frosty was one of only three menu items available on the menu, costing just 69 cents in 1969. Woo! Nice. We did it! So you get the point. But I was only eight years off. Eight years off, Link. From my guess. Before we reveal that next item, whoa, you know what we've got? We stay really well groomed around here. Our hair, our, got to. our lips, our you, beards. My hair looks like it does because of mythical clay pomade. I use it every morning. My beard looks just like it does because of mythical beard balm. I use it every morning. And if you want an original hold, you can use the original pomade. There's other grooming stuff. It's all available at mythical.com. You mm -hmm. should get it. Groom yourself. You can get that sack. What we got here, Holmes, we have a Wendy's Ch Ch chicken oh. sandwich. Spicy. Spicy. Oh, oh, thank you for do you, the do you, have a, do you have a mater on yours? Yep. Yeah. So I'm gonna go open-faced. Cause I have to bite it. Spicy. That's Is good. it hot? Is it real spicy? Link, you're still on the lead. Ooh. I never get this. 
it's not too spicy. It's almost like black peppery spicy, but oh. I know that it's more than that. So Wendy's got in the chicken sandwich game early, like decades before it became like this chicken sandwich war where everybody's trying to outdo the other one. But was it spicy? Cause you're saying it's specifically the spicy version. Mm -hmm. The spicy was still pretty early. How early? 2000s mm. would be would be really. I think that's. I think they went as early as the 90s. I think in the 90s they had a spicy chicken sandwich. And so here I am, hoping that my lead doesn't shrivel away, but feeling pretty good about this. 90s. That's it. Come on, keep crawling, girl. Thank you for that, Link. Ah, oh, boo. <laughs> boo. Okay, you've really left the door open. All I really have to do is just get past you and not go beyond 1990s or 2000s. I honestly was gonna say the 2010s. You seem to know something about this spicy chicken sandwich that I don't remember. I don't remember it before. There was a whole spicy chicken thing that was happening in the teens, the 20 teens. Hmm. But, so I would have gone all the way back to 2010. So I wanna get past you, but not too far past you. Come on, get some heat on it. Okay. So I'm closer to 1950. There ain't no way that's it. Ain't Wendy's no was the first major fast food chain restaurant to introduce a spicy chicken sandwich to its menu, and customers loved it so much it became a full-time menu option one year later in 1996. Wow, Link, you know a whole lot, but your Shoot. puck game isn't that strong. My puck game is weak! Let's check out a nice 90s commercial, shall we? Yeah. When Dave Thomas created Wendy's spicy chicken sandwich, there he is, he looking all breast fillet seasoned with his own blend mellow of and, and spices, old. But did he go too far? Very spicy. Well, it's perfect. Depends on who you ask. Try Wendy's. Is that spicy supposed to be the Where's sandwich. the Beef Woman? No, all these years they later? just have a thing for old ladies. <laughs> well, Dave had a thing for. Well, old some ladies. people call that mature. There make it go. look cool. Make it look cool. Make it look. Cool. Nope, yeah. nobody saw it. Nobody saw it. Ooh. It says hamburger on it. Is that all this is? It's probably got to be a special hamburger. Oh, yeah. This is a big Oh, is it a Baconator? Baconator. Good gosh. You got, oh, you got yeah. a big slab of uh, square patty. You got at least three slices of bacon and cheese. And then you've got another patty, another slice of cheese, Woo! and at least three more. Good gracious. This is too much. This mm -hmm. is too much. It's definitely excessive. Nobody needs it, but you want it. I love that beef, man. We're tied going into this final round. Because you lost last time, you actually get the advantage of going first. Great. Because I cannot bump you in the final round. I love it. All right, let's see what I can do. My worst nightmare has come true. Rhett's back in this. The Baconator. Bacon, 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 bacon of the... Bacon just became everybody's everything really thanks to the internet mm. in, um, in the late 2000s. And again, I think Wendy's was like very much on the front lines, pulse on the vein of society. I'm saying 2000. Okay. Specifically, I'm saying the year was 2009. Pretty close to 2010. Which is why 2010 might be where you wanna go, Rhett. It might be. Wait until it's my turn and we'll talk about it. We will talk about it. So I'm gonna try to block you from getting to 2010. You can't touch me at all. If I do, you can put me in any eligible space and move you back to where you were. That's right. So that would be a death knell. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, good with that. See, I like the central location of that because you can't touch me, as I said. Tricky, 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 Can't tricky. touch tricky. this. This calls for the finesse of a lifetime, Link. Because I believe you're right. I think it's in the 2000s. I think it might've been 2006 that the Baconator came out. I have to land in 2000 and not hit you. Because if I do, you can move me to any eligible space. <sighs> wow, okay. Lots could go wrong here. I hope it does. 
Stop. Ah. Yes, that was some weak sauce from my boy Rat. Now, will you give me potentially maybe uh, the you gave you know on the society we recently played this game. You took two mulligans. I didn't take any. Would you be willing to give me a mulligan? <laughs> I mean, what is the rule about the mulligan? What does it say? Because it says I'm gonna mulligan on there. Uh, I'll pay for one. I'll give you a bite of my baconator. So I've it's clear that I've won, right? Mm -hmm. No, if it's 1950. It's not 1950. <laughs> you know what? I'll give you the mulligan because I actually think I owe you one, even without the banned episode where I did two mulligans uh, and now owe you at least two. I think I owed you one before that. So just to make it a clean slate, ha! I will it. give you the mulligan. I'll take the mulligan. As much as I, I would have loved. Do it. I would have loved to have done that successfully without a mulligan. Oh, man, that was, that was a horrible. I'm so... If I, if I touch your puck, it's over. That's why I'm so ginger. I'm so ginger today. Mm -hmm. If you touch my puck, it's over. Yep. Just like Wendy, ginger. That's gonna touch my puck. Ah, dang it! Dang it! Okay, so now I get to move me. This is the first time this has ever happened. This uh. is a dramatic moment. I've been looking forward to this. I'm gonna move me back to where I was. I'm gonna take you and put you on any eligible one, which is 1950 is eligible. I said that it was 2000. I need to move you. A 80s isn't eligible, right? 2020 isn't eligible? Where am I gonna put this thing? How about 2010? Put me on 2010. Is 2010 eligible? Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Well, then I gotta put you on 2010. Well, what if the answer is 2010? <laughs> it's not, it's the, two, it's the 2000s, it's gotta be. There, there's no way it was this late. So I'm gonna put you on 2010, right there, squarely, and I'm gonna put you all the way over here. Yeah. Interesting choice, considering 1950 was available, but, but then too that's, late. That's um. Yeah, but you're touching 2000. You can't change it now, though. You've you've you've. It's the 2000s, man. 2006 is what I'm guessing. The famous Baconator features two beef patties, American cheese, and six slices of applewood smoked bacon. It was first unveiled in 2007. What? Uh. And let's take a look at the commercial that started it all. That is scary already. Everyone's so excited about the Baconator. I get it. Why are their faces jumping off of other people's bodies? It was somebody's idea. Obsessing over celebrity, that's wrong. Unless that celebrity is bacon. Introducing the Baconator from Wendy's. Six strips of bacon piled high atop two fresh, never frozen beef patties. Bacon! This is when a guy Obsessed was playing Wendy. 2007, man. Weird year. Well, congratulations, Link. You pulled it out for yes! where I exhausted my mulligan. Oh, so I This won. is from Dave, to be clear. Oh, look. A picture of me, <laughs> Dave Thomas, and his swanky third wife. Who's that? That's Wendy. That's Wendy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Not his wife, his daughter. That's Wendy? Thanks for making it awkward. <laughs> She's not even redheaded. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Sean. Hi, I'm Billy. And we are watching Good Mythical Morning and Drinking Frosties. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Yes, the mythical. What he said. Yep. Click the top link to watch us create the ultimate loaded baked potato craft with Jordan from Sport and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the wheel of mythicality is going to land. Unleash your legendary style with our line of mythical grooming and personal care products. Available at mythical.com.